you were like unto a ford, you made the going great. You were like unto the once renowned Eastern Airlines. You learned, you earned your wings every day. All right, amen, amen. All right. You were like Tide. Mm -hmm. You cleaned out stains others left behind. All right, go ahead. You were like unto Ivory Soap, not 99 and 44 percent pure, but 100 percent. Go ahead. All right. You were like unto the many kinds of hairsprays. You held through all kinds of problems and weather. Mm. And most of all, Rick, you were like a whole a hallmark card. You cared enough to give your very best. Yes. yes. To you we give mm -hmm. our accolades and our, our praise and we are the better for having for having known you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Well, what would you like to say? <laughs> Come behind that right there. Go ahead, Wilma Brown. Yeah, that's a hard act to follow. That's You're all right. right. You're right. But I just remember Rick as I knew him mm -hmm. many, many years ago. I think he was, I know he was one of the very first persons I met when I came to New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Because he was um, registering to go to Livingston College. Okay. And I was doing the same thing. Mm. And we were seated in the same room, and I remember he was wearing his African attire. Okay. <laughs> he was making his case, and I was sitting there nervous about to make my case. Uh, Rick and I were involved in the same program. Mm. He was studying, as I was, uh, urban planning. Mm. And he got his uh, bachelor's and then his master's degree in city mm. and regional planning. And I just remember Rick as so full of life mm -hmm. and such a personable guy. Mm -hmm. And nobody mentioned yesterday, I don't think, I don't remember anybody saying it, but Rick was a very funny guy. Yeah. He yes. had yeah. a real yes. deep sense of humor mm -hmm. and he could really make you laugh. Mm -hmm. And if he decided to uh, analyze a personality, he could really lay it out. He could really uh, point to things that perhaps nobody else saw. Mm -hmm. So uh, one summer during, I think it was about 1971, Rick and I did a program together here in Plainfield. Mm -hmm. We were working with young people, uh, teaching them how to use video audio skills. Mm -hmm. And we were in this building I'm not sure of the street, but it's not very far from here. And okay. It's not used as a, an office a, a meeting building of any sorts now. I think it's just a warehouse. Mm -hmm. But we ran this program together. Wow. And I remember one day we had a video camera. And it turned out that Rick and I were the only ones there to be uh, screened. And it was that day that I realized that Rick had a lot of talent, mm -hmm. that probably one day he was be going to become a minister. Sure. Because he started preaching in mm. front of the camera. Mm. And I was the only person in the audience, but I could see Isn't that amazing. he had a lot yeah. of skills, a lot of wow. eloquence, and a lot of knowledge wow. about the Bible. So he was just a... A wonderful guy, and mm. his, uh, I think he had such great natural skills as a politician. He uh, had big ideas for Plainfield. He really mm. wanted to see this mm. become the queen city that mm. it once was. He brought all kinds of people here. Mm -hmm. I think his work with Grand Avenue yes. Community Center is mm -hmm. one of the most outstanding things. Sure. I mean, I can remember when it was hardly possible to get a parking space when events were going on sure, at sure, Grand sure. Avenue, mm -hmm. and they seemed to be going on almost all the time. Sure, sure. He sure. just opened the doors, and the community just responded. Mm -hmm. well, well, what can we do to keep that energy alive? Uh, or is the energy dead? Uh, of course not. Of course not. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we go through periods when people are, you see, when I met Rick, 
was early, actually was 1969. Wow. So we were still in the high spirits of, of, of the 60s, you know. About the, seven years up from the Jim Crow thing. Absolutely. Right. And during the 60s, we had all become convinced that, you know, we can change this mm -hmm. world. And, that and, we, and we, yeah. we all felt that we had a responsibility mm -hmm. to try to do it. Mm -hmm. So the morale was high. Mm -hmm. And it was not so hard to be energetic. But we've gone through, you know, that's 40 years ago. Sure, sure. And as Cornel West says, we've just seen the end of the Reagan era sure, with sure. the election of Obama. So our people and we ourselves have gone through many, many changes since then. But just like a river that goes underground, it doesn't stay underground. Sure, sure, sure. It comes back to the yes, surface. Yes, yes. So we're going to be, you know, our All energy, right. it may have been latent, but sure. it's still there. Without a doubt, right? And, Without a doubt. All right. And, and it's going to come to the surface again. Well, you All know, right. I was, uh, four years ago, before I started this show, I was first invited by Chairman Hatcher here onto the Rick Taylor show. Yeah, yeah. So the Church of What's Happening Now mm -hmm. radio actually debut or radio energy really come out of the Rick Taylor yes. show. Yes. Uh -huh. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. 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 You know? yes. And I heard um, Pastor Kirk was speaking yesterday at uh, the cathedral mm -hmm. and they said that sometimes they didn't know what Rick would say. You yeah, know, and yeah. Yeah. And a lot of time, <laughs> imagine quite nervous now. But then my show come right behind. You understand? Uh -huh. So that same energy, you, you, yeah. you, you understand? It's the same energy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to align myself, align myself with anybody. But I mean, you know, all you gotta do is go through the videotape. Mm -hmm. So, so Chairman, I think you've answered your question. Some more questions. All right. That's, that's where the energy comes from. Yeah. I mean, Rick has gone, but we have you. We have other. Mm -hmm. We have Steve, mm -hmm. Wilma. Other people are taken mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. You know, when we. Uh, when we can no longer, yeah. we we no have no longer have the strength to keep pushing. You're There's right. someone else who can take hold. You're right. Well, I remember here, um, Rick Taylor had came one time. We had a demonstration in front of the recruiting station on Front Street, and I remember him getting out the car. I think it was Stephanie Alexander, and they came over to one of our demonstrations. Rick Taylor out there marching with us. I think he had a cane with him, mm -hmm. but still out there marching with us, mm -hmm. uh, trying to say bring the troops home. I remember other times when we were at uh, the uh, public hearing for the hospital and Rick Taylor had came down and they were trying to make way for him, trying to give him a chance to speak. Mm -hmm. And when he spoke, I mean, everybody could hear the, the passion in his voice. Mm -hmm. I mean, keep this hospital open, period. I mean, don't take this from, from uh, uh, Plainfield, right. the people that have worked so hard, 131-year-old hospital. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to fight for this hospital, and we're just glad that he was there with us. Mm -hmm. And and he has taught us so much. Like Zachariah says, he it's amazing because Zachariah, this radio show here, is a chain from the Rick Taylor mm -hmm. radio mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. I, I can remember we went up there several <laughs> times, several <laughs> times. And this show right here, it really is a link to right. the Rick Taylor yeah. to his show. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he spoke with a lot of passion. You mm -hmm. and I can understand what the person meant by, you don't know what Rick Taylor is going to say. What right. you got to be careful. Right. And a lot of times with Zachariah, I love him, but sometimes his voice is just like that. You don't know what he's going to say, so just move out the way yeah. and get ready for it. But we're just blessed and very uh, humbled, and uh, we thank God that we got a chance to know Rick Taylor while we did. Yeah, I'm so happy also to to. You know, just the short times that I did work with him and with P.O.P. and, mm -hmm. and uh, Rick, uh, mm -hmm. I remember him in front of um, City Hall. Mm -hmm. We were chatting. I think that we had something about the war in front of City Hall. Did we have one one night, one evening? Mm -hmm. One well, evening. Yeah, we we yeah one evening, I think we did. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And I believe he was there. So, you know, it was the energy that he had, it was just so great. And I'm glad yes. that that the Lord allowed him to see Obama get elected yes. into office. Oh, you're yes. so right. Yes. And so right. I know that he would say, as I say today, you know, as I was coming in here today um, on Michael Bay's. Have been spoken for today. 